Okay, a lot of people around the world pray, and I don't see the world getting any better. So my question would be, what does prayer have to do with Kabbalah? Is it involved? Does it, does it help? Um, are our prayers even heard? Well, it all depends on what you mean by prayer, because everybody prays in one way or another. But what are we really doing when we start talking to what we think of as God? And why is it that prayers are so rarely answered? Kabbalah doesn't consider prayer something that's done with the tongue, with the lips. You know, the saying of beautiful, inspiring words that we read, praising the Creator, or even our own spontaneous words. That's the religious model of prayer. The Kabbalists tell us that the upper force doesn't listen to words, but only responds to what is actually in our heart, and that it only answers one kind of prayer, a true prayer, which is a bottom line, gut level need. That's the most powerful desire that we have at any given moment. And even then, it has to be the right kind of a desire. See, in religion, a person believes in a God who's in control, and that there are events that happen or may happen to him or her that are felt as either good or bad. Now, if they think that something bad is happening, they start praying. They ask that God change his attitude and instead be kind and take away or prevent the bad event. Make it good. In this kind of a prayer, a person thinks that the Creator's attitude is completely variable. And the prayer is that God should change and my life should remain comfortable. The gut level desire here is that God should serve me. So this kind of prayer is never answered because it has nothing to do with why the events happen the way they do or with the Creator's attitude and nothing actually changes here. Not the outcome, not God, not the person. In fact, this isn't prayer at all. It's a kind of bribery, but to no effect. In Kabbalah, we also have a Creator and a person in this world and events that are felt as either good or bad. But because the Kabbalist starts from the principle that all actions of the Creator do not change, that the Creator's attitude is always and only good, therefore all the events in a person's life are also always good. It's just that he can't feel it that way. So obviously the problem is with him and not with the Creator. So in that case, what appeal can a person possibly make? The Kabbalist asks the upper force to change him so that he can feel the event as good by altering his inner nature so that he can sense the loving attitude that the Creator has in sending him that event. In fact, that's the reason he received it, so that he could continue to develop a true need to rise to the level of the attitude of the Creator, to want what the Creator wants to give him. And that need is his prayer. And that prayer is answered immediately. And the man's reality truly changes because he begins to live in and to perceive a very different world. To find out more about what a person needs to do to be able to sense the Creator's attitude towards him, check out some of the links up here.